Scarves are a timeless accessory that can take your outfit to the next level. They are often made with drapey fabrics that can be tricky to work with, and sewing a nice hem can be nearly impossible. In this tutorial, I'll show you how using band roll waistband interfacing will help you get a really nice narrow hem. You can use this on fabrics such as crepe de chine, silk charmeuse, chiffon, silk twill like this scarf, cotton voil, and other really nice drapey blouse weight fabrics. We will be using this silk twill scarf panel from a New York designer. Fabermark carries a wide range of dead stock designer fabrics. So depending when you're watching this video, this fabric may or may not be available. But don't worry, we have plenty of other fabric options available on our website. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's talk about some of the supplies we will need to complete this project. First of all, you will need fabric. Specifically, we are using this scarf panel. You can use things like silk chiffon, crepe de chine, silk charmeuse, rayon chalet, uh, pretty much any other blouse weight type fabric. Uh, this one being a scarf panel, whereas maybe you would just want to cut out like a square or a rectangular piece of one of those fabrics to make a pretty scarf. You will need thread to match, band roll waistband interfacing, uh, a long ruler, it can be any type of long ruler, just something that you can use to make some good markings. Scissors, a seam ripper, and some pins. Let's prep the band roll interfacing. So band roll interfacing is very stiff. Uh, sometimes it can be made from buckram, which is a popular tailoring material but this one's specifically woven for waistbands. This one is about one inch. And what we're going to be doing is taking the long threads off of this piece of band roll. To do that, you'll be using this seam ripper. And to get started, you wanna go on the edge of it and just start pulling at the, the threads. Now, at, at first, they're not going to come out as long strings. But once you kind of get started, you'll be able to pull one by one, or two by two, like that one was. And you just want to pull it the whole way across. Um, you, want, you want to continue to do this for the width of the seam allowance that you're achieving. So for example, we will be using a quarter inch seam allowance. You want to go a quarter of an inch away from the long edge. So you just keep on going until you get this to a quarter inch. And you can take your uh, measuring tool here and measure to see where you are. So I'm probably at about an eighth of an inch, so I would wanna keep going. And there, that's about a quarter of an inch. I would recommend doing this uh, method for a quarter inch, a three eighths of an inch. You could even try it for a half of an inch, but I wouldn't go any further than that. Um, maybe you could, but you know, this, you're only working with one inch and it's important to have something that's woven here to work with. So, uh, you know, that quarter inch is kind of my sweet spot. And you wanna make sure that you take the threads down as far as the width of the scarf that you're making, because when you're putting it into your fabric, you want to make sure that it's the same length as the piece of fabric so that you're working with one length at one time. One thing that I like to do is mark the width of the hem that I'm working with. So this one being a quarter of an inch, I have marked on here a quarter of an inch because this band roll can be used for multiple projects until it would get pretty frayed or ragged. But this is great for doing multiple hems or, um, you know, just saving it in your stash of sewing materials and notions. So here we have our beautiful silk twill scarf panel and as you can see here this area is wider than this uh, border over on this side. So we're going to be squaring up our scarf panel. You may or may not need to do this depending on the type of panel that you have. So each panel is going to be different so you as the uh, artist can make the determination. So this side over here has a three inch border in the blue, I will be cutting off the white area here. 
Then this area here measures approximately six and a half inches. I want this to measure three inches for my finished silk scarf. I'm going to take my marking tool and my ruler and mark three inches. The three inch mark is going to be kind of at the edge of where the print uh, ends. So now I'm going to cut along that line. All right, so now this border is all evened out. It's three inches. That one over there is three inches. I'm going to go ahead off camera and cut this white um, piece off. And then we'll get ready to go to the sewing machine. All right, now it's time to start sewing. I have my fabric facing right side, facing up and the band roll will be lining up with the raw edge of the fabric. So these little fringes that are on the band roll should be lined up with the raw edge of the fabric. You're gonna put it under your sewing machine's presser foot and you can start like a half, an, a half of an inch in or so. Put your presser foot down and start stitching. You will be using a regular like uh, 2.5 stitch length, something that's fairly um, normal probably on your sewing machine. I think a lot of them are around 2.5 stitch length and you'll get started. Now, when you're sewing, the ob objective is to make sure that the line where the fringy area and the non fringe band roll interfacing kind of lines up with the middle of your presser foot or like your needle. So I only did a couple stitches just to kind of get myself started, but what you want to make sure you're doing is as you're sewing down this line, you want to make sure that the needle is not going out into this um, woven area that you did not take apart. You want it to just sort of glide up right against it and be sewing on the fringy side because later on we're going to be taking the band roll out and if you would end up sewing into this area you won't be able to take the band roll off and that's not what we want. <laughs> so I'm going to just get started sewing and you're going to continue to make um, a straight stitch the whole way down and just making sure that the band roll and the scarf um, panel are all lined up at the raw edge. There we go, all finished. I'm gonna carefully pull that away. You can see I accidentally pulled it a little bit away from there. So that's that's okay for like the first little bit, but just don't pull the band roll off of the fabric. You don't want that to happen. So here you can see, this is what it looks like. Again, we have the right side of the fabric um, facing up and the threads are just kind of holding that band roll on there. Now I'll go over to the iron and I'm going to turn it and press it. All right, so here I have my scarf panel with the band roll interfacing attached to it. This is the right side and then this is the wrong side. I'm going to be pushing the band roll interfacing to the other side and then rolling it over so that now the band roll interfacing is on the wrong side of the scarf panel. And I'm just going to use my iron and a little bit of steam. I am on the silk and wool setting, but I do, I just really like a little bit of steam with it. And I'm going to just press. And as I'm pressing, and I just keep kind of shimmying that band roll interfacing towards the this uh, hem. And this isn't going to do a ton because once you get to the sewing machine, that's really when it's going to take a nice hem, but it just helps get the band roll interfacing to the other side of the scarf so that hopefully you have a little bit less fumbling around. I'm just pressing the band roll up towards the edge of the fabric to give it a good press. 
All right, so it's all turned under. We're gonna go back over to the sewing machine and sew along this edge. I'm going to sew my narrow hem. And as I sew my narrow hem, I'm going to sort of pull on the fabric a little bit. Not so hard because you don't want it to pull off of the band roll here, but I'm gonna pull on it to give it some tautness and make sure that I get my really nice hem. I'm still using that 2.5 uh, stitch length. And as I'm pulling, I'm also pushing on the band roll area just a little bit to give it um, that nice, smooth and thin hem. Okay, there we have it, my really nice narrow hem. Check that out, isn't it gorgeous? So now we're going to go back over to the cutting table and we'll be pulling the band roll off and you'll get to see the nice finished product. Okay, we are almost done here. You can see how beautiful this narrow hem looks. Really, really, really nice. But now we have to take it apart. So let's pull the band roll off of our fabric. Oh, and I think that was a little area where I went over a little bit. It does happen, but try not to have that happen. Less issues later. Keep pulling. Okay, there we go. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? This is a perfectly sewn narrow hem. You can see here there are a couple little raw threads. Those are all just raw from the scarf itself. I like to use these duckbill scissors to get in there really nicely so that I don't cut the fabric. You use them with the duckbill facing the, the scarf. You ensure that you don't end up getting a little hole in your scarf, which that would be horrible after such a beautiful fabric um, and process. Here's my corner, we're gonna work on this. What I like to do is sew one edge first and then do the parallel edge second, and then do the other ones that are going perpendicular to the one that you first started with. So I have just some raw threads here. I'm gonna trim those off and kind of square it up the best I can. All right, so now that I clipped that, I'm going to take it back over to the sewing machine and finish that up and I'll show you how I just do a really easy corner. Put my presser foot down and do the same thing where I'm lining up the raw edge of the fabric and the band roll uh, little fringes. Still trying to make sure that I keep my stitches right up along the edge of this, not inside it, but just along the edge. So I'm gonna go back over to my ironing board again and flip it over like I showed earlier. I'm not gonna show you this time since you just saw it a little bit ago. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off the corner here. I do have a little bit of loose threads here at the corner, so I just wanna clip that. And again, just kind of shimmy that to make sure that the band roll is facing the wrong side of the fabric. And when I start a corner, I start about a quarter of an inch or so away from the edge because I just want to get a good corner without those rat tails that sometimes happen. So I'll start my first couple stitches and then back stitch back to the beginning and then come forward. And then I'm just going to stitch all the way down to the other end and then I'll show you what I do at the end. Okay, so I'm at the edge here of my um, scarf, 
and I have it still turned under and I'm just going to very carefully make sure that all of the that raw edge at the end is turned under because my band roll sort of ends sooner than I would hope. And I'm going to sew to the end and then just do a nice quick back stitch and there I have it. There it is. And then again, just pulling out the band roll to achieve that really nice narrow hem. Let's go over to the table and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so there we have it. Our nice finished narrow hem on both sides. There's the wrong side, there's the right side. Here's my corner. And you probably will need to go through the scarf and look for all of those little raw threads if you missed them before. But otherwise, you're finished. And there you have it, a beautifully finished silk scarf ready to wear or for gift giving. If you liked this tutorial, check out our other sewing related videos on our YouTube page. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.